Oh hey there. Welcome to our new pad. Concrete pad that is. I'm Dave. And I'm Veronica. And we just completed our first part of our new off the grid home. We've been living off grid now for a month and mm -hmm. so far so good. We actually came out here every weekend for the past four years and built a small cabin that is actually quite comfortable. But now we want to upsize a little bit, use some of the knowledge we've gained building our other structure and really make a nice home and then use the other cabin as a guest, guest house. house. Yeah. Rent it out. Yeah. At, you know, invite people to have a natural experience in the woods. So come and check this out. Come on. Hey there. Welcome back. We'd like to show you our off the grid home. <laughs> we collected lumber from the forest around us, including this black cherry, this beautiful door that Dave designed and made. And then we uh, had a friend of ours uh, make a nice leaf stained glass window and she knocked it out of the park. It really, glows beautifully really from beautiful. so many places. Come on in. This is our lovely, comfortable living room. We hang out here a lot in the winter, less in the summer. <sighs> We've got a lovely, one of our off-grid systems is a battery to run our radio. Works beautifully. This is the loft up to our master suite. Another David's design with the, hair, with the railing. Making the railing look like an actual tree growing out of the ground and yeah. wrapping around. So far, so good. Not quite done, but almost. We collected this, too, from the forest. Found pieces out in the forest. Kitchen area is back here. Not very big, but very functional. Yes. It's got a refrigerator that's not plugged in. It just uh, stores some dry goods. If we need to add any cool, we just put in ice and mm -hmm. an ice block. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a, a trap door thing up here that Love is this. for... For More storage, storage, dry storage. Use a space. That's I, not I need a stool for that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, come on back. We've got a battery charging area back here. Uh, it's really a struggle to keep all the cords together, but this is where we do it. Plug in that goes to a generator outside, and we run that. So when we need it, we'll turn it on. We either charge most batteries. of the time it's not on, so we right. only go through a couple gallons. Of yeah, it's very inexpensive. A week. So back here we've got a little sink. It's not plumbed in, but it just goes to a bucket for cleaning up. Mm-hmm. You know, peeling potatoes, whatnot. Mm -hmm. Here's our library. Library area. Yes, for anyone, all of our guests, any wide variety of books to read. We have our guest bedroom here. Which is a mess right now, by the way. But that's okay. But it's uh, just got clothes this on it. This summer, earlier, it was just too hot, so we broke down and we really did get an air conditioner and it made all the difference in the world for us. And so we, we don't need, use it every day and all yeah, the time, but we only when, need it for a few hours. When you need on to one sleep, day. yeah. When you need to sleep, come on back to the patio. Check this out. This is our favorite room. It's all screened in. Very comfy chairs. Oh, and the newest and addition. The funnest the chair Rock's ever. Tower. Hanging, swinging chair <laughs> for for. A zen moment. <laughs> yeah, let's go waveless. Uh, nice. Yeah, it feels really good. It's just sitting listening to the birds, especially when it's raining outside. So when it's raining or there are a lot of bugs out, which isn't hasn't been bad lately. No, not this But this year. is the place to be. Yeah. Come on on back. One more thing here. A couple more things. This is our lovely sauna. One more 
be a fine feature that we have. This fine sky deck where we can watch the birds and have morning coffee. It is one of our favorite spots in the morning. So stay tuned for more. We got the next building coming in, I'd say about six months. Take care, right on.